Oh my god. That little thing literally just exploded out of her back. And it's so adorable. Can I keep it? Do you even have to ask? Just look at that little poodums. Hey man, just welcome to Super Poor Reviews. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. Today we're going over the NECA Alien Covenant Creature Pack. Which I'm the most excited about, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna let Arnaz take over here after we get the intro over with, but, uh, yeah, uh... This uh, it comes from the film Alien Covenants. This is pretty much all the random little creatures you get to see inside of the movie. Uh, minus the small toddler, which we already went over with the Neomorph. But this pretty much gives you all the other forms of the creatures. With the slightly larger toddler, the little baby protomorph, some of the eggs they see in there, and the more larger face huggers. You know, on the back of the box, Steve, it describes that little guy as the chest burster. Well, yeah, well, technically he's a chest burster because on the back you actually get a different bio, but we'll go over that here in just a second. But the only thing that's kind of odd about this is uh, this is probably the most spoilery of all the figure packages because uh, once you see this guy anyways, stuff, uh, you kind of start piecing some things together a bit because uh, that is not your typical chest burster, eh? But still actually really cool, because uh, with this and the other alien stuff, you don't really need anything else from the movie. No. Like, possibly, like, more of this set just for more eggs, if you really want, like, a bigger diorama piece. But this pretty much gives you, like, everything you need for just your standard shelf space. Well, the reason why I was super excited about it, Steve, it's something different. It's not just regular Xenomorph for you know, it's different. Yeah, it's not like the Colonial Marine or just a character. It's like... Bunch of little things that normally you wouldn't think you see as figures or maybe something that would toss in with other stuff, but you just get all of it right here. But anyways, without further ado, for the packaging, uh, again, really love this packaging, but for the most part, it's the same as what we got with the other ones, but just in a slightly different style for the front section of the translucent plastic. Got the sort of protomorph there on the side there with the creature pack here on the bottom. Top of the packaging, more creature pack. Side, more hills have eyes. Other side, more of the side profile Next of the shots. alien. On the back of the packaging, just shows you the figures, which is, this one is actually a little depressing seeing the other figure packages because this actually shows all the figures, like how they are inside the packaging while well, with the other ones. It's more designed like the wall scroll, which would have actually been really cool to see here. Like granted, you don't really need these two guys, but still, I would like to see like the whole David, you know, sketches of the things and evolution of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would have uh, been a little bit sweeter, I personally think. But yeah, so it even says on the bottom of here, you get open, close, egg, chest burster, and toddler neomorph. But it's only odd that like they're both considered a toddler, even though this is like the slightly like like ten minutes older version. Man, no matter which way you look <laughs> at it, it's just odd. They, they are super strange. But for the top here, it's the exact same as you got with the other ones. But if you want to read it real quick, I will let you. Uh, yeah, and there's just some uh, legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom. So let's gonna open up uh, this cardboard prison. All right, Steve. First question, why is there two facehuggers in the one egg? It happens, Steve. It's called twins. You have an issue with that? Uh, well, yeah, I do. Why? Because the battery's dying. Oh, <laughs> it really is. Dang it. I hope you charge the other one, Steve. Or this is going to be the shortest yeah. review ever. Uh, all right, so I guess I'll start with the twins. You want to hand me the other one, Steve? Sure. There you go. So part of the creature pack is you get these two twins. They are exactly the same. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, actually, I think they look a little better than the ones that I got with the tubes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, or the older creature pack ones. Just because yeah. they're a little bit larger, they hold more detail. And not just that, their tails are better. You know why? Because mine already came in broken. These ones are still fine. So these ones are thumb up. But for the closer details is, do I even have to say it? Well, you can see the, uh, oh, whatever you call that thing, the tube that shoots mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> loves you, Steve. He loves everybody. <laughs> it's free hugs, free hug day. Oh, I should wear, oh, never mind. You guys can't see me. I should have wore that shirt. Should have. Yeah. Should have just wore the spirit. <laughs> so for the front, it looks like what it exactly looks like with the little pouches on the side. Uh, it's got four fingers on each side, so it's an eight-fingered monster. For the back, um, I really, uh, you know what, the whole thing looks like flesh tone. You know what, just, just give me the next thing. we all seen these guys before. But they're bigger. We haven't seen those exact ones. Oh my god, here you go, Steve, look. 
We. At least happy? they're larger. Yeah, that is true. I do like that. Here, hold my twin, Steve. No. Go on the couch. You're supposed to give me the better creature, Steve. What is this? That's the toddler. Give me the better one. No, you do the toddler. We save tiny for less. <laughs> we save the best for the last. <laughs> okay, I get you. So for the closer details on this guy, um, I really, really hate his face. It really looks like that thing from the Hellboy. Uh, Golden Army. Oh. Uh, guy with no eyes. Yeah. The Hell Angel, whatever that thing is. Yeah, the Reaper. Yeah. It's hideous. It actually has like blood all over it, which is amazing. So I'm gonna point this out right away. It's flaws is when Steve got it, he had to scrape the paint off the uh, kneecap joints right here because they were not bendable. Yeah, uh, a few of the parts, like it happens once in a while, but like the easiest thing to do is just take a hair dryer to it. Helps to soften it up, and then that's when you work the joint, and then it'll loosen up anything that's in there. All right, so now that we got the negatives out, let's get to the positives. This whole freaking thing is a positive. I love this thing. When I seen the creature pack, when Steve showed me the first uh, picture of it, I was super excited about him. That is the, one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, was just because of this guy. Because he is covered in red, which represents the blood of him from killing the humans, the people, from the uh, planet. You know the shit. So I was super excited about this guy. So for the closer details, he has a huge blood stain on top of his head. His head is a little bit weird shaped, which is normal for them. Got no eyes. And has a weird mouth. Arms. Nice details. Back he has the two spines right here. And a two on his shoulder blade. Goes down from his stomach into his legs, which he also is covered all in blood everywhere. This part right here is a little disturbing to me. I know it's not fully formed yet, but it's part of his leg. And I swear to God, it just looks like somebody broke this. And they were like, okay, that's how we're going to do this. Yeah, well, that's kind of just how the aliens are in general. Because they usually have that little, well... Sorry, some of the more, like, runner aliens have that. Yeah, but it's still pretty disturbing. I mean, like, ugh. And then we go... Or, or, you know what? No, Steve, we're not, I'm not going over his butt. We're just going to go straight to the tail. What? All the details. The tail is on a wire, which be able to bend it everywhere. You can tell where the wire ends, and that's one of my worries. It's right about here. And I am afraid that it will poke through, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. It's one of those, like, over time, I would uh, mess around with it less and less. But it's pretty good. It bends and it actually twists. Oh, there you go. An upside-down tail. Pretty articulations. His neck got a pretty good uh, spin to it. But, like Steve pointed it out, I would be super careful because you will be rubbing the paint, and especially the red, so you don't want to lose his... Uh, blood stains yeah just uh when you're moving his neck just take a little slow try not to rub yep but he can go forward about that much and backwards about that much side to side his arms can go can it go all the way around oh nope so the shoulder blade Good job, you broke my alien. <laughs> well, there you go, Steve. Now you can look at the better details of his butt. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> you said it's fine. Uh, his shoulder blade... Never satisfied. His shoulder blade hinders his arm movement, so you can go about that far. And all the way down to the ground where he hits it. For the legs... Oh, that too. Does it? Yeah, you gotta go over all the details, man. I keep telling you. Doesn't that go... You could lift it... <laughs> Go to sleep. I'm so tired. No, you finish your review. Fine. Before I break this leg, <laughs> this leg can go all the way around, which I'm being very careful. And then down here, down here, it can. All right. All right. So this is what Steve was talking about. Yeah, it's just it's a little stiff. Yeah, it's a little stiff because of the, there's still paint stuck in it, but it can move, and there's nothing down at the toes. And the tail, well, 
We'll get back to that. <laughs> I'm we'll, be right. so I can pick up the parts. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. After reassembling. Yeah, so his arms do go to... Uh, Steve, do I have to do this? I'm afraid. Yeah, they're a little stiff too. <laughs> but uh, I got it to work. Ah, there it is. Me love you, Steven. Hug. <laughs> Looks like he's just like running away from something. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for the eggs, uh, you get one that's closed. It has uh, pretty good details on it. Uh, the top looks weird. It looks like some kind of fruit. I can't think of what it is because I'm super tired. kind of reminds me of star fruit. I'll take his word on it. Well, the old ones remind me of avocados. But I really do like the color because it's different than the old eggs. But there's a lot of details on it. Um, only downer is they have a smaller stand. So sometimes it's hard to get them to stand straight down. And then you get one that's open, which has a lot more better details. It's got details on the inside. Well, it's not the same detail on the outside. Same details on the outside, but it's better because it's open, so it has more details. I don't know. Personally, I kind of like this one. Well, you know, I got this. You just hand me that knife, and I'll open both of them for you. Well, no, I like it closed. We have to close the other one. Well, see, the beauty of this is this will be custom made. You can open and close it. Oh, I got you. Okay, hold on a second. Get out. Hey, put the knife. He has a knife in his hand. Somebody help me. Okay, so one thing, maybe because I'm tired, I did not notice that this came in two pieces until I looked inside and you can see inside of it. Because they hit it pretty well over here on the outside. But you can tell it was two pieces put together. But yeah, well, the closed one's like that too. But the, the seam line's pretty well hidden. Yeah, that's... But the details on the inside are pretty good. Um... I feel like they put in too much purple, but I don't remember the egg being like that because I think I was just too excited, you know? Well, that, you don't really get a good look inside of it no matter what, so. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you know what? I'll take their word on it. It looks pretty good. Details on the outside, same as the other one, except, you know, it's got a little flappy, flappy open. Yeah, the, the open one does look cool because it kind of reminds me of, like, a... Uh... Kind of like a flower, more so than the originals. And then we saved the best for last. The only reason why you buying that creature pack. Well, I mainly got it for eggs and toddler. I was being sarcastic, Steve. <laughs> I don't think this thing was necessary. Yeah, it is. It's a chest burster. It's little baby protomorph. He's adorable. This is not a chest burster. It's a ch I, it I, says on the box it's a chest burster. Steve, it I, came out of the dude's chest. It bursted forth from there. Steve, I know what the box says, but fans are always right and they'll just yell at you. This is not a chest. But they yell at me every video. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is actually kind of cool. I do appreciate that they gave us the first chest burster, I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, it's the first one you see. Uh, well, first chronologically that you see. Yes. Th th thank you for the specifics, I guess, Steve. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I don't think this thing has any articulations, and if it does, I'm not going to go over them. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not breaking this thing. It just stands there. Well, kind of. I, I was getting to my next thing. He has this, a lot of detail. This thing does not stand at all. Like, you have to lean it against something, which is probably the biggest downfall. Because one of the legs is shorter than the other one. Yeah, it's one of those, like, I haven't tried heating it yet to see if I can maybe adjust it better. But for the most part, he doesn't really stand very well without, like, using some sticky tack or something. We and, should. We and should. there's not really, like, a stand that you can get for him. We should have got a mini stand for him. I think he should have came already on a stand. To yeah. Be honest. But besides all these negatives that we pointed out towards him, this thing is actually freaking amazing. I am surprised how much details they squeeze into this tiny little thing. Like you can see all the ridges on the tail. Only thing I'm bummed out, it's not a scorpion tail like the other one. He's growing. He, he's working his way up. And there's even blood all over him. You can see the rib cage, the stomach. I'm actually surprised how much details they squeeze into him. Even he has a little face in there. Look at that. Yeah, no, they did a phenomenal job of sculpting it. All right, Steve. For this comparison, before I get into this, please explain to me how is this a fair comparison? Well, because they're all in scale with each other. Because here they are next to the other Nika Alien Covenant figures with the Protomorph and the Neomorph. 
Or Xenomorph, sorry. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Steve, shouldn't the open be next to the open and close next to the close for a comparison? I mean, like, that's like... Yeah, it gives it more variety. There's more going on in the photo now. So the new eggs are bigger than the old eggs. That kind well, of technically, the old eggs are bigger than the new eggs. These ones are smaller, Steve. Yeah, but these ones are older. Chronologically. Chronologically, yes. But in movie-wise, they're not. So here are the NECA six-pack egg, right? Yes. Really, Steve? For once, I thought you were going to give me an actual comparison to make sense. What is this? Well, it's the SH Monster Arts Heavy Arms Kiryu and the 1964 Godzilla from Monster Arts. And how uh, and how do we compare this to NECA product? SH? Well, they were on the shelf at the time because I'm work. I currently work at Kiryu Photos, and the 64 is never usually out of the box. But I've been trying to get around to doing a Revoltic Malta review, and I kind of need him. So he's not out of the box very often. So you guys are welcome. He is super sad. He's never out of the box. Well, he's autographed, so <laughs> he's not okay. usually out of it. Okay, never mind. Put him back in. So, overall, I'm actually super excited about this pack. This is the one thing that I was looking for, just because every single thing that comes out is always a figure, a figure, a figure. So, I always want to grab, like, the side things, like the creature packs, the eggs, you know. Yeah, or the like little the, accessories. The little accessories, like the tubes and all that stuff. It's the only reason why I grab those tubes, you know, because you usually don't get that stuff. And it's one of the reasons why I want to pre-order What's-His-Face so I can just get that Haley's Hope sign, you know? Yeah, I know you're talking about the new two-pack. Yeah, it's the only reason why I want to order so I can get that sign. Because those are the kind of things that catch my eye. And one of the biggest reasons why this caught my eye would be not the chest burster, but the other one. The know? toddler? Yeah, the toddler. He's just neat. It's just everything is neat about this in general. That and it just makes good uh, accentuation pieces for your collection. Especially if you plan on buying the other Alien Covenant figures. If, like Once you purchase this, you pretty much have every, at least creature-wise, from the movie. Yeah, and I do appreciate that, you know, they only gave us two eggs, but one's closed, one is open. Variety, you know. Two face huggers, they're exactly the same. I don't know, maybe they could have done something different with it, but I'm still... Like, I understand. Yeah, I'm still happy. Like, they still look good. Plus, you're going to probably have one sitting in the egg, one sitting outside the egg, so you get... You're like, you're not going to really be noticing too much staring at them. And as much as we were trash-talking the little guy, I still really like the chest burster, because it's just... It's different. It's not uh, original chest burster, you know, like the warm tings, whatever the heck they're called. <laughs> chest bursters. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like, he's probably the one complaint that I have the most with is I think he should have came on a little stand. Yeah, just that's... Just to help him stand up. Because outside of that, he doesn't really pose... Like, you can't really have him standing up without something helping to support him. I'm going to have him riding the toddler. You can do that. But yeah, if you guys are planning on picking up the NECA Alien Covenant figures anyways, you might as well uh, add a little bit of accessories to those guys as well. Definitely. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up the Alien Creature Pack, what's your favorite accessory for Alien figures or his vehicles? Just more your thing, please let us know in the comments. We'll have a closer picture of these guys on our website if you want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account with exclusive prints, also down in the description. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.